Hi, my name is Amanda Pintori and I'm the director for How I Learned to Drive by Paula Vogel. Today you'll be hearing from some of our cast members about their experiences in this production. My name is Becky French. I'm playing a little bit. Um, she is, she's a character. Uh, she, her, she's in a family and it's, she's weird family. She, she feels like she's out of control, she can't find herself and she falls in love with her uncle and her uncle is in love with her. At this point, little bit does not understand who she is. She doesn't understand what love is. So it's very difficult for her to understand the difference between family love and man love. And her uncle, Peck, takes advantage of this and uses her for it. I'm Mason Quinn and I play the character of Uncle Peck. Um, uncle Peck is uh, a man who is in a very dysfunctional family. He has a very strange relationship with the main character who is a little bit. They are each other's saving graces in this dysfunctional family, but their relationship is also uh, very taboo. My name is Ashley Daniels and I play the Teenage Greek Chorus. Um, I'm actually four people within the Teenage Greek Chorus. I'm Lil Bit's grandma, who's kind of crazy. She's really crazy. I'm a teenage girl who went to high school with Lil Bit, or middle school. I'm also a Little Bit when she's 11 years old. Well, I'm Heather Ann Hicks, and I'm playing female chorus member in How I Learned to Drive. My character consists of playing the mother, Aunt Mary, and uh, some, some children um, in a couple of the school scenes. My name is James Zafarik. I play the male Greek chorus member, and I play a variety of characters ranging from Lil Bit's family, uh, her grandfather, and also younger characters, such as one of her kind of frenemies in high school, and another man that she ends up going to bed with. <laughs> As far as subject matter goes, especially um, in a town as small as Shadron, um, a lot of consideration is taken um, into when choosing the place to begin with. Um, our theater department is definitely not afraid to push boundaries because that's what theater is about and we wouldn't be serving it justice if we didn't. And like I said, we make sure to um, forewarn our actors as well as our audience. Approaching this show with actors kind of from the beginning, especially during the audition process, we let them know you have to be ready to jump in and commit fully and that that when you're up on stage, it doesn't represent who you are, you're representing those characters, and you have to do that whether the material makes you uncomfortable, something that you definitely wouldn't do in real life. For a lot of people, we all have that dark part of us, so it's a really interesting process to explore, and that's why I like working with this kind of material, because it gives the audience a chance to realize that, yes, this is a part of me, it's a part of everyone. I've been in some pretty serious contemporary plays, but this is by far the most serious topic I've ever been in. It took a lot of inside work to find myself and to find, you know, a little bit inside myself because it is so weird and uh, family problems, you know, sexual problems and all of that. So it, it's a very deep role to try to find in yourself. When preparing for a role like this, um, it's really kind of hard to uh, almost to get into the part just because it's so something that's really not familiar, you know, um, and it, it does help to, to draw from your own experiences in a play like this to draw from your darker experiences, but really the best way is just to, just to dive straight into the character head on and, and get as deep as you can. Well, this isn't the first show we've done here at Shatter and that's had some, some hard topic to it. Um, Beautiful Child was another one that dealt with um, the same topic in a, in a little bit different way. So I think for me, I, I personally, I kind of believe that it's happening to my daughter. Like as I'm the mother in, in this play, I, I know what's happening. And so I have to, I, I believe I get my, to get myself going. I picture myself in five years, you know, with, with my own daughter, like, and this is happening. So how, how would I respond to that? and just kind of put yourself in those real life situations to, to kind of ramp you up and get you going into your character. Well, when I first auditioned for this show for How I Learned to Drive, it was, I was a little nervous about it because it was a mature piece and I've never really done anything mature before. It's definitely, when they say mature, they mean mature. <laughs> going through it, the first time I read the script, I was like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be scary. But it's very, very in-depth. 
you get done watching the show and you don't know if Little Bit is at fault or if Uncle Peck's at fault or if it's her family that it, that's at fault. So it's, it definitely leaves you wondering what would have happened. And With this show, we're doing a thrust seating, so it's audience on three sides, and uh, we have the element of the Greek chorus. And so we got to play a lot with um, positioning them. They never leave the stage. So we've definitely gotten to play a lot with them jumping in and out of different characters and helping them find that boundary of how to properly show that. And just sight lines, uh, making sure that everybody in the audience can see. We have some really extreme seating, um, and we want everybody to get the same um, experience. When working with a small cast like this, it's it's actually a lot of fun um, because you get to be closer with the people that you're working with, for one. When talking about the Greek chorus, there, there are moments when they play uh, other characters within the family. Little Bit and Uncle Peck are really the only characters who are those two characters the whole time. And then there are the Greek chorus members who play the mother or the grandpa or the grandmother or Little Bit's friends in different moments. So they do interact with the characters on stage, but then there are other times when they are more like a traditional Greek chorus and they're just kind of prog progressing the story forward. It's pretty difficult being the grandma. <laughs> I'm obviously not a grandma and definitely being crazy and Lil Bit's family is very sexual. That's kind of a different aspect of theater for me. I've never had to do anything like that. So it's kind of difficult getting into being a crazy old lady who wants to talk about sex all the time. We try to have a lot of fun here. Um, and it's really uh, interesting to be able to work with a smaller program like we have. We only have two directors, but when in such a small program like that, you can get a lot more face time with your professors and you can really get to know them. You know, we're on a first name basis with our professors here and they all know us really well. It's like we're almost like we're uh, a, a big family, you know. I've had an absolutely wonderful time directing so far. Uh, Roger Mays and I talked last year about, um, this is my senior year, so the chance to student direct, and it's definitely interesting walking into a space with your peers and kind of taking on that, but I think that I'm, I have a leader type personality, so it's something that I feel comfortable slipping into. I thought a lot about everything and have talked a lot with professors and read a lot of books, um, did a lot of research before, um, before we started the process. You learn more as an actor, also being directed by an actor as well, and as a, a student along your age level, you find out new things about staging and interacting with other people, and it's a very good experience. I want to be an educator, so it's really helped me along finding how to interact with not just older directors, but students along my age as well. It's a lot different because you're, you know the student. You're on a much friendlier term with the student than you would be with a professor. The, that professional level is hard to come by because you see them in class, you see them after class, you hang out with them oh, at really night, you know. Really you don't necessarily do that with a professor. Yeah. So just coming up with that professionalism, getting that into the, the rehearsal range, and respecting the, right. the student director as the director. So, but it's nice, Amanda's a great director. <laughs> Thank you for watching our behind the scenes of How I Learned to Drive.